Hello everyone and welcome to Cast Party. My name is Colin McManus and I will be your director for today. I am joined by my worried cast and crew, Ryan McManus. Hi, Sebastian Vivaldi Greensleeves, an emo at heart musician who has always wanted to go on a cruise, but was scarred after having to watch the Titanic movie in high school. He would obviously bring Daisy along if he ever went on a cruise, and has an underlying fear that he'll play his last song while the ship slowly sinks. This doesn't, however, change the fact that he loves pirates and enjoys sailing. But the second it's referred to as a cruise, the panic starts to set in. Boats should not be that big. What would his last song be if he, if he knew the boat was going down? Sugar, I'm going down sinking. Going down, Helena. down. <laughs> Helena. Just so long oh, and good night. I, I, oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anna Brisbane. <laughs> oh, uh, Blueberry Sky. Elvin Druid actress trying to save the world through art who was born and raised vegetarian. She has never consumed meat. And as a kid, learned about animal cruelty and environmental benefits of veganism, so she has been vegan since she was 13, when she also successfully bullied her parents into becoming vegan. She has also refused to date any guy who didn't convert to veganism, but of course, whenever they broke up, these guys went straight back to eating meat to spite her, and it worked and hurt her every time because for some reason she was always convinced that she genuinely turned these guys vegan for life. Oh. That's actually sad. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> well, every guy was that I can fix him mentality, and then. <laughs> um. It, so she was vegetarian at the start. Was it just like cheese? That'd be the hardest thing to give up for me to give up, like <laughs> vegetarian to vegan. Oh, cheese. I mean, it's eggs are in everything. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. I get it. I get it. Cheese so, will be the thing I could never give up in my entire life. I'd rather die. <laughs> and we have Nigel Deacon. Who's smooching? Uh, Xander Gucci Supreme, who's been having this recurring dream ever since he moved to LA, where he's in a world that feels weirdly similar to Fendrea, and he's uh, pretty deep into a relationship with someone named uh, Il Ilenia. And, like, dreams are dreams, right? So, like, that's not even a super weird, bizarre dream on its own. But what's weird is that in these dreams, Xander seems to have these, like, deep memories that go back years and years. Um, when he wakes up, he has that, like, recognition of something in a dream without the details. So he knows the memories are there, but he doesn't know what they are. Basically, what this led to is Xander working on a theory that he had a life on some other world or realm or reality, and something happened that brought him to Earth. Now, you might be thinking, but he has memories of being a kid and stuff, but Xander puts some merit into the idea of last Thursdayism and accepts that the whole universe could have been made last Thursday, and everyone's memories were artificially implanted by the higher being that did it. Um, he's not big on God, what? but especially now, he believes in magic and brainwashing. So he's getting more and more convinced that he actually grew up in a magic world and knew this uh, Alenia. But, like, hey, sometimes dreams are just dreams. Um, and also, shout out to Bobby on Instagram. Uh, she put Xander into her character's backstory, so it felt fitting to fit hers into his a little bit. Oh, that's so God. sick. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Last Thursdayism, is that like a is that a thing? It's kind of like um I like the it. it's the argument against creationism. Um, because like creationism it, believes that the world was made six thousand years ago and everything that is dated like that we have carbon dated that's older than that, people are just like, Well, it was just made to be old. Like it was created yeah, six thousand yeah, yeah. years ago at an old date or whatever. So the idea with huh? last Thursdayism is like the whole world was made last Thursday and everything is just made then to think that everything like it has memories or it was made to be old and stuff like that. Oh my I don't like it. It hurts my brain. Let's play. Yeah, that doesn't instead. feel nice on uh, my head. <laughs> Finally, we have Vince Marino. Jet the Boulder Chambers. Um, it's going to be a short one today. It's probably going to make Colin a little upset, if I remember from talking with you last week. Um, the fun fact, we're bringing it back to food a little bit with Jet. He's never had a steak. That's fine. What? Steak is Jet is, is a meat enjoyer, I mean... but when it comes to just a regular beef steak, he's never had one. That's... That's, That's not fine. accurate for the life of an actor. You are you are served steaks against your will. <laughs> he, he, he politely when you go to these fancy declines events. them. They gross him out. It's a texture thing. Okay. Um, he know he sees that they can be like chewy, and he's heard and he's seen in other movies, and and he sees the little bits of fat on them, and he says, "Meh." That's fine. <laughs> steaks overrated anyway. 
It true. absolutely is overrated, yeah. True. I, yeah, but I, it's still good. Yeah. I, I just remember talking with you about it last, I think, last week, right? And I you were just know, talking man, about how nice, much you love it and how much you love nice like eating the fat can, bits. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. yeah, and I'm the one that's like, you take all my fat bits because it's yeah, gross. Yeah, that's why we need to get steaks together because I will take your strip. I, I will oh, get so wait, You like the last? fat part- bits? Oh, oh, yeah. You are yeah, yeah. a monster. <laughs> <laughs> God. <Mm-mm. laughs> I all guess right, it everybody. doesn't matter if breast milk's vegan. You'd just be sucking it down jelly style. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's I've... talk about what happened last time. Um, the group of you started underneath the magistrate barracks seeing Travis's dead body while Redstream cleaned up the markings put onto the ice to make fun of Travis. Travis, the rest of you explored deeper, finding a magic wall with a sigil on it from decades past, explosive markings and Kianopa's dead body, headless and cased from the waist down in obsidian. Redstream began recounting the events through his vision. He explained how Ilana killed Travis instantly and then the two of them had a battle. Kianopa was holding her own until she she cast some spell and there was a symbol on the magic wall. After that, she was exhausted and succumbed to Ilana's power. Continuing to search, you found a chasm down below with the skeleton of a large creature. Redstream again recounted this. What he seemed, what he deemed goddess gave Ilana some sort of power before it exploded around her, weakening the goddess and Kianopa appearing from nowhere. In a fit of rage, Ilana killed the goddess with a lightning crack and a massive sword of ice that pierced her heart before slapping Kianopa and teleporting away. Kianopa tried to save the goddess to no avail. You all began leaving this place of destruction before Redstream told you that something needed to happen to this still asleep guard in the quarters above. None of the destined could be seen going anywhere near the barracks, and he had seen you all. After some arguing on the subject, Redstream went upstairs to take care of the guard, while the rest of you jumped in the bag of holding, and Blueberry flew you out as an owl. Arriving back at the tent, Jet was emotional, not happy with how things were going, and if and in a fit of not anger, not rage, maybe desperation, a large pebbles appeared in front of him, licked his face, and trotted him around the Evergem. After a brief moment of calm, a song a brief moment of calm, a song of rest playing in the background, you decided to head back to your airship. You met back up with Cloud and decided to head to the graveyard outside of Faramore, where Fable's flower spit you out the first time. You got the ship in the air and went to sleep. Awakening as Cloud shouted you were approaching your destination, Jet, you saw your right arm completely white with sharp black fingernails at the end. Now, Jet, you are lying against pebbles in the ship, looking at your hand as you hear Xander munches loudly on baby carrots and Sebastian exits from the captain's quarters. And so the scene is set. The question is, what will you do next? No, 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 guys, guys, no. I know, he's eating baby carrots again. We gotta stop him. It's getting out of no, hand. No, get over here! What's wrong with baby carrots? What's happening? What? What's the matter? Look! What you is paint- happening to me? You huh? paint your nails? Do you not see my arm? I mean, we were just in the cold. It's just like a little bit of like... Not... Tan? The pale? No, this is different. I don't think Frostbite would do that. Can I poke it? Uh, I don't know. What do I do? You can move it normally? I'll try. You have full control. I I think, let me throw something at me. I'll throw a baby carrot at him. (laughs) I try to catch it in the air. Uh, dexterity check, DC 10. (laughs) God, please fail. (laughs) 17. Yeah, easy. I, I just grab it in the air with my hand. Can you crush it? Um, I'll squeeze it. 
Strength tech, DC 35. <laughs> 35? <laughs> I'm oh. I'm <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you're able to just squeeze it. Um, you're at least, at least able to make it crack in half real easy. Does it... Does my hand feel different? Like, does my entire arm feel stronger, weaker, uh, harder, softer? Nothing about Better, your strength faster. changes, but definitely harder. Like, your skin is... I don't want to say thicker, but it's almost denser. Like, like it doesn't feel like your arm is, like, wider in any way, but it feels harder. It feels less like skin than it did previously. Can I, I poke s- him with a knife? Oh, again? Yeah, but not the jeweled one. I'll... Just in case. Um, it's like a normal <laughs> dagger. It's like, I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to see, like, are you, does this, how, how does this feel? And I'll just, like, lightly stab him a little. Where are you poking? <laughs> In the forearm. Yeah, I mean, Jet, you feel like, in, in fact, like, every once in a while, he, like, puts it on a different spot of you. It feels sharp and pointy, and, like, at one point, like, it's just a little bit too much, and it, like, it does break your skin a little bit, and you start to bleed. Um, Just little drops of blood. It's yeah, dog, that's still regular. just your arm. Regular looking blood as well? Yes, yeah, red. Bloody. <laughs> mm. You can smell the iron. How do my fingernails look? Fingernails. So your hand looks white. And you can see that even some of the lines in your hand don't look as deep as they used to. You can still move and grab things. And then some of the wrinkles are gone, like on the backs of your fingers. And it goes up to the fingernail where instead of having like this nice like kind of pinkish gradient to like that white top, it is completely black and it almost looks like that blackness is coming from beneath. Like it, uh, you can even see like the translucentness of the fingernails and that darkness is beneath as it kind of, and it looks like your fingernails are sharp. I, with with my other hand, I want to grab one of the fingernails and just try to tug on it. Ooh. Ow, no, oh. Bad Ooh, thought. I don't... You you tug on it a little bit. It definitely feels like it is embedded in your skin. Like, this is your fingernail. Son of a bitch. What did you do? I... Man, does it look like I know? Hmm. This started when you like slept in the in the room over here, right? Uh oh. Not like what room? It, the you slept in like oh, the, the hammock other room. room. Sorry, yeah. I thought I, I thought, for some reason I thought he had dibs one time. I got real nervous for a second. No, no, no. We good. We good. No, he slept in like the in that like musty hammock room. I. Did you like catch? I a, don't know. Maybe maybe it started then. I I can't remember if it started before that. We met some dragon people. Does it look like their arms? Jaria? It's... Give me... Investigation or nature? Oh. <laughs> Five. Um, <clears throat> you noticed that they did have claws? Um, but right now it's not like this is like a one-to-one by any means, or like his arms don't have scales and his hands aren't disjointed like in a different way or anything like that. Um, that's the only thing you can remember is like they had claws. Jet. Yeah, he do be looking a little smooth. Smooth? Yeah, look at his fingers. He ain't got the creases. I'm gonna walk up and take his necklace and or the the dragon pendant one and pull it off around his neck and I want to place it in his hand just hold on to this in real my, tight in the in dra- my in new the claw dragon hand. hand yeah okay I'll, I'll hold on to it and grasp it so you're talking about the the pendant his mom gave him the one yeah the one that was light, lighting up 
Yeah, so it's it's not currently <clears throat> lit up like looking with that dragon mm-hmm. profile or anything like that. It is just the it is the mother child tree holding hands. Um, hmm. Yes. Pendant. Darn, um, I was wondering if that would do something. With with that in my hands, I'll uh, I'll cast lay on hands and just like one out of my pool to see if it does anything to my hand. Interesting. Roll me a religion check. Ah, shit, seven. You have your hand clenched around this pendant. You push some energy out of your arm into it as you see all of your fingernails grow in front of your eyes. Just Baby, don't do that! Inch. What? What did you do? What, wait, 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 what did I, you just I, do I, just, I, just, just you then? Just push your I, hand so hard that nails <laughs> grew further out? What the fuck um, kind of magic trick is that? <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought maybe I'd just try to make myself feel better, like how I, I've done with you guys, and I guess I failed. I mean, like, do you, do you feel okay? Or is it just like... Uh, like, aside from being, I like, mean, nervous and anxious right now, like, do you feel, like, physically fine? <clears throat> yeah. I, I don't know. I, I feel normal. Do you want to trim little... your nails? We could we could try, uh, Xander. Get get a blade out. Try to try to just cut the tips of the nails off. I don't know about hey. that. Hey, this seems like I mean, a bad I idea. I have a nail file. <laughs> oh, you got a file? Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> yeah, we got we got a couple we got a couple minutes before we land. Like maybe just. I mean, dull it'll them a take some bit. time because they're pretty long, but it might be better than a dagger. I mean, if you I need wonder. the dagger, I got you, bro. It's, I've, I've spent enough time in the desert where I got that toe trimming skill. Ooh. Wait a minute. Before we do that, let me try something. I'm just going to go to the wall, like a wall in, within the ship, and just try to claw at it. Okay. Um, Give me an attack roll. Unarmed strike? Yeah. Nine. It's a wall. You're able to... Are you trying to claw at it? Like, like almost like punch at it? Or like... Just, just like open hand, take a, take a claw, like slashing. Beauty and the Beast. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you take your kind of clawed hand and you drag it against this wood not too hard and you can see that you you leave some finger marks or, or i guess nail marks um that it feels like it's it feels like it's pulling at you a little bit but like it, it kind of feels like like if you were to just drag your nails against like a table or something or the wall um like it definitely feels like these are part of you as you does it file down the sharpness at all? No. Huh. Uh, I don't know what the hell to do here, guys. I think we should bring you to a temple of some kind. You know? Because maybe it's a curse, and maybe they can lift it. Or just you, figure out what's going on. Or have access to healing could, that we we don't have. You know? This seems like it's growing so fast. I, I just don't want to be too late if this starts to take over the rest of me. Well, we're headed back to... <laughs> Faramore? What's that place called? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're headed back to Faramore. There's a temple there. But we have to check on Matthias. We have to yeah. check on Kingsley. 
we can do that first if you want, or if you want to go to the temple first, since hopefully that'll be really quick, we could do that first. No, no, I, I can wait. We have to get to Kingsley. I mean, like, you won't be any help to him if you're not doing well, you know? Like, there's no sense in running into a battle, a potential battle, if you're going to be uh, crept on by whatever is going through your fingernails right now. Do we do we even know where this temple would be? Like, yeah, how do we know that it. somebody's yeah. mm -hmm. going to be there? It's with the trees, right? The moon trees. Mm-hmm. It's like right in the center <sighs> right of town. Right by Falafel. With the little cart. They had Insomnia Falafel right outside. We we ate by the moon trees. It was, it was that big old church. What if they can't help me? Wait. Well, only one way to find out. We could, if it would make you feel better, we could get back to town. We'll go to Matthias just super quick. Make sure it's not burned down and everyone's still there. Once we have eyes on Kingsley, we book it back to town. We know he's good. We we don't even need to set foot in there. As long as we know like he's good and he's there, then we'll then your next priority there, bud. What if we get there and we see that they're not okay? We can't just run away. Then we that's deal with it. That's a decision you have to make. So so what are we proposing right now? What 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 are we laying on the table? That go we go and take care of me first. See what's up. Or we go to the school first. I think school first. If we know that Matthias is there, they they could be outside. They could be wandering around Faramore. They could be having a picnic outside. We might need even have to enter the school. As long as we just know that everyone is there and everyone is safe, that's it. Then we just book it into town. Kingsley's our only real worry at the school right now. And as long as we know that nothing has harmed him in the slightest bit, we don't need an explanation. We don't need to know what the magistrate even did yet. We could just run and take care of you super quick. Yeah. We can't make decisions now based off stuff we don't know, so let's just go to the school and see what's going on. Yeah. Maybe we'll I get just, lucky, uh, and, and this is a like a blessing in disguise. Like, it's just like a new way to protect yourself. True. And I punch him in the arm. Does Wrong it arm. hurt? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> it, uh, it feels like you just got punched in the arm by Sebastian. Does I'm it hurt dick. me? Um, I mean, Jet's always been pretty muscular. You'd think it'd, be, it'd probably hurt to punch him no matter what happened. Dang it. Is it cold? Oh, yeah. Like, what's his body temperature? Where are you touching? Yeah, Sebastian, where are you touching? <laughs> yeah. Where are you, uh, where are you putting your hands on me there, Sebastian, boy? Uh, I would, well... I feel like I would have noticed when I put the pendant in his hand. If I like, if I grabbed his hand and then placed the pendant in it, did I? Would I have noticed his, anything there? Yeah, his hands are definitely clammy. Or his hand, the hand you put the pendant in is definitely clammy. Ew! Oh. It almost feels like you, like, lost circulation in this arm. But you could, you could still move it and do everything totally fine. It's kind of chilly. Do I still feel warm? You guys are in the air. It, it's probably pretty... Like You guys don't have like a central heating area or anything like that. So, like, Blueberry, Sebastian, Xander, you're probably like... You got blankets. You're, like, kind of cuddled up. You got whatever you have, like, are moving a bit. Jet, you don't really feel like you need that. Um, mm. You're not particularly, like, super warm, but, like... It's like a moderate day. You're like sweating a little bit. <sighs> Do you guys think this could be evil? We don't know. I mean, I don't think your emotions have changed too much since this happened. If anything, you've been more emotional, like, in the opposite direction. Because of 
me. So like, I don't know. I right now, it, if it, if you're feeling okay, <clears throat> and you're not noticing anything like different other than like the the visuals of what we're seeing right here, you're probably all right for now. While he's saying that, I'm just gonna kind of hold my arm up into the sky um, to get a better view of it. Just kind of twist my arm back and forth, and um, I'm gonna cast divine sense on my arm. Okay. You... All you detect within, I believe it's 60 feet of you. Um, yeah. The only thing you detect is one singular fiend. Who you know to be Namora. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) I forgot about Namora for a second. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You do not detect um, Celestial, Undead, any other Celestial, Undead, or Fiend. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess you're right. And I'll just bring my arm back down and just walk towards Pebbles and start patting her. How about the rest of you? You guys doing okay? Nothing weird is happening to you? You haven't done anything weird had anything weird happen to you like like me i was a little hungry last night but no. according to blueberry i'm an unstoppable well, killing machine i what? i never said unstoppable <laughs> i um i don't he can be actually stopped. know most of what i don't know what he really said to you all the whole time but who yeah Wait, did you, you say somewhere didn't, didn't you say there was like a big like eyeball monster or some shit? Yeah, like, some yes. sort of demon, and now I'm I can't be afraid. Yeah, the guy. Did I hear him call himself the the harbinger? You 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 did, as well as there was like another portion where like you you found like letters that so like you know his name like that's what he calls himself. So, you. He was like, what do you fear? And you were like, what's your name? And he was like, what do you fear? And you're like, well, what's your name? And that, that'll be it. And he said he was the harbinger. And he turned into this scary fucking monster. You know, that big buff guy with like the kind of mohawky situation um, that everyone seemed really scared of. Um, he turned into this thing and told you that you weren't allowed to run. And that if you ran, he would always be there. And I don't know, he had you on that harness thing. I think so that if you ran, you couldn't really go anywhere. Um, But yeah, you seem to be like hallucinating something that I wasn't seeing because you were freaking out about something else other than the freaking monster guy standing there. So I don't know. You got really emotional for a sec. I'm not sure what was going on. Um... And and then I don't know. You came back, and then you he he turned back into himself, and then you came back to your body and forgot everything. Yeah, I I don't know what you're talking about. I remember none of that. I just walked up the stairs. He put the harness on me. Do I remember uh, actually inhaling the the smoke? Ooh. Yes. Hmm. Because, yeah, after I opened that door, he, he made me smoke that stuff. I was it DMT? I don't know. He, he, oh, yeah. he said, just take this, and then he made me, like, inhale some stuff. I got all up in my lungs. And then... Did you did you see the time knife? I don't know what that is. Okay, m- might not have been DMT then. Okay. I don't think he knows what he saw. I don't know. He made he you would forget. would remember the time knife. <laughs> I just, I remember inhaling that stuff, and then he told me to put the harness on. I do remember... Starting in the harness by the door, 
and then I woke up, and then I was just in the middle of the room. Yeah, I mean, you ran, and you were like, I don't know, fighting something? Or got hit by something? I don't know, you froze up. Like fighting things for real? Well, I couldn't see anything. Hmm. Other maybe, than the monster guy. Maybe that's why my magic was all off for the rest of the day. You mean your invisibility? Oh, yeah, you got really exhausted. I mean, you were casting yeah. spells, but I oh. couldn't see what you were hitting. Interesting. I wonder if that had to do with Xander and Jet losing the invisibility. Yeah, I mean, maybe you cast something that was concentration, or there was a moment where you looked paralyzed. That would do it. That would do it. Anywho, well, I it seemed like he was really intent on the fact that you cannot run. You have to always fight. All right. We, maybe we can, maybe we can test that. Yeah. Real quick. All right. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna run after Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna fire an Eldritch blast at him. What the hell? <laughs> Sebastian, what do you do? Um. Can I roll? No, I was going to say, can I roll insight on myself? How am I feeling? <laughs> oh, you are terrified. They're attacking you. Okay. Uh... <laughs> out of nowhere, your your friend is chasing you and shooting magic bolts out of you, or at you, and you are... Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> I'm um, also going to wild shape into a, a big old bear. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, what make the hell's more... going on? <laughs> and I'm going to do laps around Rawr. the the living area. And if Xander does actually try to hit me, I'm going to cutting words. <laughs> okay. All right. Are you trying to hit him, Xander? Or more yeah. just... I'll, I'll, I'll fire a, a warning shot at him. Just the one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me an attack roll with disadvantage. Because you're... Cool. Actually, just give me a normal attack roll. And you're trying to warning shot. So if you do really bad, it might not be exactly a warning shot. Okay. Oh, right. I'm supposed to roll on here. Eh, whatever. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. You're, you're able to, you're able to <laughs> uh, uh, get real close to him. Like, you're oh, using I need, a warning shot. I need shot, audio. But... <laughs> Sorry. Say what it was. Oh, yeah. What? Huh? I need your roll. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I rolled probably the best roll I've gotten on an Eldritch Blast in a while. Um, 23. Yeah, that is that is enough to just barely not not graze Sebastian, but get real close to him. He he hears it right by the ear and he feels the power coming from it. Um, but you are able to miss him purposefully. Um, and it is very I. I I do my lap around the living area and I'm just yelling at everyone to stop and then I, I end right at the dining room table and I look at the stack of cards, the tower of cards, and I said, don't you fucking take another step towards me or I'm gonna knock it over, I swear to God. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna slowly wild shape again <laughs> into a, a giant like ice spider but it's like slow so spider legs are just growing <laughs> out of this bear and I'm like lumbering oh, towards you. Oh. And then pictures come out of my face. Oh, no. You gotta run upstairs. <laughs> you gotta run away, bud, if you want this to stop. And then <laughs> fire another one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, that my was even god. better. 26. Uh, um you're you're able to shoot it like right between his feet on the ground and there's like a singe mark on the ground uh right in between your feet Sebastian I just stare at him and I make an evil face and then I <laughs> smack the tower of cards over and run up to the top of the ship 
Does that count as <laughs> running away? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's that's running away. You, uh, Sebastian, you run up to the top of the ship. Um, ah, option. I was just about to ask where you guys were. I need to know where to set the ship down. Oh, hi. Um, uh, there, there's a graveyard outside Eagle Hill. Yes, uh, we are some- close to Eagle Hill. Perfect. Eldritch Blast flies over his shoulder. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> uh, somewhere somewhere over there. It's totally fine. Um, okay. I will find a nice clearing. Okay, thank you. And I'm going to uh, stomp downstairs. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to reconstruct the card tower. <laughs> Turn back uh, into myself. <laughs> any huh? Any side effects from running away there, bud? I feel normal. Dang it. I was hoping I would be unstoppable. (laughs) Well, better luck next time. Hope the next brainwash gets you better. (laughs) (laughs) Um, After a few more moments, uh, the airship starts to descend. Um it kind of gets locked into place and you guys can feel the the kind of elevator-ish sensation of going like straight downwards um and it takes a little bit you know it, it normally takes a little bit to land just because you're deflating all those air out of those big balloons at the back um and uh yeah eventually you feel that gunk. all right options uh would you like your little rod back or should i keep it here Uh, I'd uh, love to use it if we don't need it to keep the ship down here. Yes, we just need it during takeoff. Okay, great. I'll take it. Um, you run up, you grab it. Um, so we are just a little bit south of that graveyard. I found a nice clearing. We should be very well hidden and uh, safe. Uh, and Blueberry, like as you're up here now, uh, you can see like you guys are pretty much surrounded by like a pretty decent thicket of trees. Um, this this small area has like a nice little flat area of uh, fields with like a few trees. Um, it just looks like this area didn't get as much tree coverage, or there could have been like a wildfire or something a long time ago that kind of made it so it's easier to uh, land here. Um, so just head north and you should end up at that uh, graveyard there. I really like the word thicket. Thicket. Okay. All right. Thanks a bunch, Cloud. Cla- Thanks, Cloud Daddy. Cloud, Cloud Thanks. Daddy. Oh, shit. Thank I, you. I forgot Daisy. Sorry. And I run back downstairs and I smack the card tower over again and run back up before Bitch. we get off. <laughs> <laughs> you should get nothing. it, Sebastian. <laughs> um, um yeah you go grab daisy um and you hop off the ship um i'm uh, assuming you guys head start start heading north towards that graveyard mm-hmm. i'm cool. gonna uh, as we get off i'm just gonna jump on or uh how would you how do i say this the right way mount I didn't want to say mount because I thought that you would like turn that into something sexual. Dog, um, so I'm, I'm going to with crawl horses on top when you of... get onto a mount, you mount it. That's just that's I'm going to crawl up on top of Pebbles is back and <laughs> ride. Well, see, that her. sounds sad. That sounds like you don't know how to get onto the back of an animal. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff probably doesn't have horse. But actually, he might for he might have had to take horseback riding lessons for the movie. I know like Lord of the Rings people did. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Did you know that Vigo Morton oh said God, it? Stop it. Uh, Pebbles, Pebbles uh, does that dog thing where almost like they're getting ready to like run or for a treat where they get like down really low, but the haunches in the back are still up a little Butt bit. shaking. Um, so you can get onto the beautiful pink saddle. Um, uh. And... Uh, kind of starts doing a like a little circle around the airship just this like really quick clearing trying to get some uh some wind between the fur um and then starts trotting all along the others um as you guys head as, north I... as we get back to everybody i'm just gonna run i'm gonna have her run by xander and i'm just gonna give him a little smack in the back of the head why in front of the group <laughs> <laughs> what did i do <laughs> um eldritch blast uh no. <laughs> <laughs> so Something I didn't really think about before is that, like, a giant Pomeranian 
has just the biggest head imaginable. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> because, like, Pomeranian proportions, like, their head is, like, the same size as the rest of their body. So, like, a giant <laughs> one is just so strange in my brain. Do you know how much we could, like, hide in her hair? Oh, my God. True. Yeah. We could do so much. Um. Hey, okay, guys, I know we're... I know we're in a bit of a rush to get back, but we we don't really know what's waiting for us. And if we have time, maybe Fable has something fun we could use to help out if we do have to end up fighting. You know, we're gonna be right by the flower. <clears throat> yeah, we got a lot of extra coin too. Yeah. Yeah, twenty minutes tops. Yeah, it real quick. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Just in and out. See if she has like explosives or something we could use. You could get Maybe she squirrel. knows something about my arm. She might. Yeah, she's been around forever. All right, all right. Let's let's stop there quick. No, no more than twenty minutes. All right, you guys head uh, north just a little bit. Again, you guys aren't that far out. It takes maybe three to five minutes of hike walking. Um, I say hike walking because there's not really a super defined path, um, but this this forest's not super, super thick in any way. Um, the thickets aren't too thick is what I'm trying to say. Thick. Uh, <laughs> um, and you finally come up to the... They're thinums. Yes, they're thinums. Uh, the thinums <laughs> of trees. Uh, you head up to this graveyard. You finally see kind of like this, again, broken down cobblestone wall a little bit. Um, oh god, that sound scared me in the, the fucking music. Uh, it was louder than I expected. Um, and you kind of come up to the, the back area of this kind of broken down cobblestone wall. Um, and you can see, again, like this kind of decrepit graveyard. Um, you know, all these areas are really kind of broken down and not, not necessarily broken down, but more just overgrown. Um, some of these cobblestones have like fallen over um, and you're able to make your way into the graveyard. Um, and you know the grave that you kind of have, like there's all these bushes over top of where there is like this area where you can go down and pull the flower, you can pull the flower and then go down into fables. Um, but in this graveyard, you see... There's an older woman here. And she's cleaning up one of the graves. You can see she's like pulled out some of these weeds. Um, and she is currently, she has a bouquet of flowers and she is trimming petals off of them and dropping them on top of one of the graves as well as kind of all around. Oh, just this petals? one specific grave. Oh, Blueberry, I... There was one of the graves, like, Darien or Damien or something. Remember, it was, like, the only one that was, like, kept up when we left the Underdark. Was, was it that one? I don't know. You should know! I don't remember which one. It's a whole ass graveyard, Blueberry. But it was in that area, right? Ish, the man yeah. in my brain is shaking his head yes that that is the right <laughs> right one <laughs> um, uh, is is my with my armor and everything on is my arm visible your hand would be um but probably not like you you have stuff that covers like down to your forearms at least actually i feel like you could you would have some sort of gloves that you probably don't wear most of the time that you could throw on you want a mitten <laughs> uh, did no, you check no 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 mittens no <laughs> mittens please I, I think i'm okay with that it, like if you could make a mitten out of like you know flowers or something i'd wear that but we don't need xanders that's okay <laughs> no i threw those away every time i got them just like straight into the woods ah, good <laughs> Oh yeah, no! I I'll, hope a, I'll throw some gloves. I hope like on. a bunny doesn't try and go in that. I don't know what the heck would happen there. Maybe it's just like, like a hermit crab situation, but like for all eternity. Oh, oh no! He could never, never be get able bigger. to jump again. Maybe it would just I'm, look like a snail sitting on his butt. Like, yeah, just, he still got his legs. Hmm. Do we so, want to avoid this lady or? Well, we kind of have to go to where she is, don't we? 
Do at we? least close by. Like a bush. This is Isn't a pretty a small graveyard. Like, like 40 to 50 gravestones total. So, like, you could try to sneak by if you want to find the area, but, like, it would, um, she might notice you. Let's just pretend we're grieving at another grave. I don't know if we should pull the flower if another person's around. Do the flower petals saying, she's dropping like, look like Persephasis? Huh? Per- Persephasis? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, when we got to the Darien Swelton death date only gravestone, I have the note Persephasis flower underneath to yes. prevent uh-huh. growth of nightshade. 100%. It is Persephasis. <laughs> Damn. Persephasis? Which something undeath is what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Nightshade you knew had something to do with undeadness. Hmm. Persephasis. Yes, this is Persephasis. <laughs> Persephasi. Persephilis. At least from a distance, it, it very much looks like the same color. Um, yeah. What does that mean, Blueberry? I don't know. She's trying to prevent Nightshade from growing. I don't know. Or her super dead husband from resurrecting from the dead. Yeah. Wait, yeah. is that why there was no dead date? There, there is no only a dead date. date. Oh, oh god, okay. I'm so glad I got that wrong. <laughs> There's no birth date? Right. Is that weird? You never had a birthday? I don't know. This guy never celebrated his birthday? Oh my god. I might not have known when it was. How can you die but not know when you're born? Be born. <laughs> uh, a bad childhood. Oh, true. Amnesia. Maybe it was a true. stillborn. But he. <laughs> that actually makes sense. Interesting. I guess it, it could have been a child that was stillborn. I never thought of that. Then it'd be the same day. Yeah, but would you? Because they were never technically born, but they were dead. <laughs> Before they were born. Yeah, I mean that one. Yeah, that, that might have been like the most sense you've ever made, Jet. Yeah, that got real sad though. <laughs> nice. Anyway, Dope. let's pretend to mourn a grave while we wait for her to leave, because we don't want to lead her into fable. Yeah. Let's what? uh, we'll, well, let's make our way to the to fable. Let's let's just do it. How far yeah. is Fable's flower from this lady in the grave? We'll say dun 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 rolling dice. Forty feet. Yeah, let's wait. I don't I don't know if we should do that if she's still here. What if what if we just try to dis- distract her? Like I don't know, throw a rock over in the corner, or we could just scare her off. I don't know. She seems sweet. She's just here dropping flowers. She's just an old lady. You like helping old ladies. Yeah, I know. But we're in a hurry, man. So go talk to her and get rid of her. (sighs) Um, uh, all right. Come, Come on, Pebbles. Let's go. We're walking over towards her. Um... Yeah, Jet, you're walking over. Uh, Pebbles kind of hops this little cobblestone fence um, and uh, makes a bit of noise. Um, and this woman kind of looks up. Oh, I have not seen anyone here in years. Oh, uh, and, uh, yes. Ooh, very slowly gets up from her seated position. Um, she was kind of knelt down and she uses like a little bit of a cane and pushes herself up and you can see she winces a little bit. <sighs> what are you doing here? Oh, hi. Yes. Hello. I'm I'm just here with my I friends. Don't, I um, don't have any gold. I've been no, robbed no, no, no. far too many times to keep it. We're, we're not that kind of people. Let's listen. Are, are you uncomfortable? You you look like you're hurting. Can I help you in any way? Just Just old bones. Old bones? Oh, I'm sorry Old to hear bones. that. Oh, 
Uh-huh. You don't need to be sorry. You just need to be sorry for yourself in a few years. And she oh. kind of like gestures the cane at you. It'll oh, happen that's, to you. That's good. I, I like that. Luckily, I got this guy and I hold my hammer up. To, you know, uh, that's my cane for now. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to carry that into your 90s. Oh, I hope I make it that long. <laughs> um, you look strong. You'll make it. Little old me did. Yeah, here's here's the hoping. Um, so I was just wondering, my my friends behind me, they're uh, we're all here to to see a old friend of ours. Um, they like to have things a little more personable. If What's the grave time? If we're if we're two rows back, what's the gravestone directly in front of us? Give me a name. Uh, do, 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 do. G- G- Gary. Fargo Williams. Vargo or Fargo? I like Vargo better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Vargo! <laughs> ah, this is. Interesting. Yes. Again, none of these graves are well cared for. I, I assumed no one assumed these were all forgotten. Oh, we're we're from a ways away. It it takes us. We can only come every few years. Um, it's it's one of these moments that we really cherish on our own. And I thought it'd be nice if I could try to clear the area for them to have their moment alone. I don't blame you. I used to come here every day. Now with the old bones, try to come once a week or so. But uh, I understand it's better to be alone with your loved ones. Yes, yes. Here. And kind of shakily, she hands you two flowers. As I go to grab the flowers from her hand as our hands touch i'd like to use some of my land hands pool to see if it'll help her feel a little bit better okay okay um you see she she just kind of shifts her hips a little bit and you hear a loud um as some some air gets popped out um here lay these on the gravestone Thank you. What what are these? It helps prevent nightshade from growing. Nightshade? I I don't believe I've heard that. Nightshade. It it, it nightshade is a dark omen. It means undeath is near. I see. This is greatly appreciated. I apologize. You just give me one moment. Um, and she kind of gives you like a little bow and she just moves over to Darian's grave, pats the top of it, gives it like a little bit of a squeeze. Um, hope to see you again the next few years you're here. Absolutely. Um, now that I know you come every week, we'll try to come on the day that you're here. Normally try to come the day the sun is highest. Um, and you can see she kind of like looks up to the east. Uh, it's still kind of early morning. Um, the sun is blaring. It is like you guys started out in spring. It is like starting to get to those like kind of those really hot spring days just where summer's starting. Um, you can see some some sweat on her brow. Uh, and then uh, I will see you around. Maybe. Uh, take care of those bones. And she starts kind of slowly hobbling mm-hmm. northward. I'll try my best. Um, it takes a minute. You guys are <laughs> uh, crying for Vargo a lot, probably a lot longer than you expected because she does not move very quickly. Um, but she's able to get out of the graveyard and you can see that she starts heading towards the east um, down the main road. All right. Are you guys ready? Can, can we go now? Yeah, let's go. Vargo. Vargo. Oh, yeah. Vargo Vargo's done. He's He's not even real. Well, um, well, you say I that as you read the gravestone next to you. I guess he, <laughs> he, he, he was real. 
<laughs> yeah, but he's not anymore. I'm very real, and I hold up my arm. Oh, you're right. Okay, pull that shit. You guys pull up the, uh, the, the flower and make your way down. And you see a little shop known as Fable's Ooh. Fixations. And you're able to pop open the door. Bring, bring. And uh, immediately you see... Um, what's the dog's name? Fuck. Blink. It blink, wasn't it? It's not no, Blink. It's, he is bl a Blink dog. He's it a was Blink like dog, but it's Flash. 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 Yeah, Flash. It's Flash. Um, you can see Flash uh, doesn't even lift the head off the couch, but the tail starts... Vroom, vroom, vroom as you guys walk in um and you see your little pixie friend goggles currently on head looks up i'll be with you in a minute okay Shh. Oh. it almost looks like she's like welding um but she's using some sort of like f flame torch um and she genuinely means just a moment it, it takes her like oh, it's just not working hello how are you hi Oh, we're doing okay. Wow, well, how are oh. you? Oh, great! I've made some wonderful progress. Uh, uh, good. Hell yeah! Great, great, All right. Great to hear. A progress on lots of things. I hope. Um, yes, well, many. Yeah, we're we're mm. kind of in a rush. Do you have anything Always. new? Me too. Oh yes. Would you like to see my wares? And yes. She sends you an inventory on Discord. <laughs> 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 um, How I'm gonna send this in two parts <laughs> I'm gonna send the stuff that she still has in stock um, and then I will send the new things in a separate message um, why is my message too long okay well now she no longer has that and she no longer has she does have that I'm just gonna send that in separate good god oh, so many things oh good oh, those right. are the are stuff you the... already know of right oh, okay right and then she tells you <laughs> that she has um, a new ring, a set of dice, a, a large scepter, a balloon, and a beard. You have a beard? beard? What? A beard! Yes, you like the beard? You want to see the beard? Sure. Uh, it's, a, it's a beard! It'll Look at it and put it on! And she shoves it on your face, and it's like a fake beard that hooks behind your ears, Sebastian. Um, and it is a very obviously fake beard. Um, and this is the beard of Entangle, and it allows you to cast the, the wearer to cast Entangle once a day. Um, and that was created by Earthos Creations on Patreon. Go. Cool. That's sick. It's it's a little itchy. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I, guess I don't. It's a beard. I don't. What's wrong with you? I don't know if I like this. I don't remember Fable's voice, so I'm so sorry that I'm fucking up Fable's voice. But right, I'll fix it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give this back. I don't I don't know if I want it. Okay. Right, unless that, anyone else want a beard? Right. Well, no. it doesn't fit me. So, well, it's oh. there if you want it. Uh, what's this? This ring of it looks like it's got a parrot on it. Oh, you wouldn't like that. Yeah, but if you tell me what it's like, I could recommend it to Blueberry, perhaps. Why? This only works for people who can change into animals. I do that. What? That's so cool. Yeah? Yeah, th this this is called the ring of the parrot. What is that? I can already turn into a parrot. Well, yeah, but if you're wearing it, you should be able to talk while you're in a, 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 an animal <gasps> shape. Yeah, what? It, it allows you to keep the vocal cords the same. Well, not the same. Whoa. Like, if you're a bear, you'll be like, oh, I'm a bear. I can talk like a bear. Oh, my God. Okay, that how is, much? That is the most helpful freaking thing I've ever heard in my life. 100 gold? 700. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'll, ah, go. I'll, I'll drop some on that, Blueberry. Good Lord, Wait, I wish you could talk. I mean, tell you about the other stuff i got these dice they're 25 gold each and she shows you a little dice uh a little die these are called the escape artist dice and you you throw them and then stuff happens on the ground 
and it helps you get out of sticky situations. Um, and so that's a D6. Uh, when you throw it on a one or a two, it explodes into a large fog cloud. On a three or a four, a bunch of slippery and stinky fish fill the area. Um, so it's difficult to range. And on a five or six, it's poison fish. gas. Oh. How good do you have to be at like aiming to throw? How far can you throw these things? <laughs> um, I would say like, hmm, how far could I throw a die realistically? Like forty feet? <laughs> I don't know. That even seems. Ma- well, I don't know. You I can throw a die forty feet. feet. Yeah, we'll say we'll say it's three times your dexterity. Oh. Oh my. So, uh, we'll we'll just say 45. That's going to be so much easier than <laughs> 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 How big is feet, the area probably. of the of the stuff? It's a 20 foot square. Oh, a square. Weird. Okay. Fine. It's a 30 foot <laughs> circle. <laughs> <laughs> Radius or diameter? <laughs> <laughs> we'll say it's a 20 foot radius circle on the ground <laughs> okay <laughs> um why do you have a used uh, a what I, none of these are used I've, I've um, made all of these why yeah um but this one why why do you have like a used uh condom on the table oh, oh my god oh. what it's a balloon uh, Right. Oh, oh. I told you it's a, it's a balloon. Of course it's a balloon. Is it? Yeah, it's, okay, so here. This is the balloon of protection. And oh, she cinnamon it doesn't oh, like God. it. It's the worst. Okay, so so I made it for cinnamon. And so like a small rodent-sized creature could squeeze in this uninflated balloon. And this small rodent-sized creature can do so as a free action as long as it has access to the balloon. And then when inside, the balloon inflates and closes. I fucking wrote the wrong closes. <laughs> 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 That's not even closed as it was closed. <laughs> when inside, the balloon inflates and closes, protecting the rodent inside. The balloon like lifts about like 10 feet in the air and it becomes translucent and it doesn't allow magic or physical damage of any type to hurt the balloon or the rodent inside. And on as I was thinking like as a bonus action, like as the owner of the rodent, I could like have the rodent like assist a party member with a look in the eyes or a cute face or a little dance, providing the help action for the next D20 rolled by the party member. And this was Whoa. made by Megan on Discord and Patreon. What what does that mean? Who's Discord? What? What's dis Where's Discord and Patreon? Oh, s- sorry, uh, it's just a friend of mine. Oh. Okay. Uh, that, that's her cool. full name, Megan on Discord and Patreon. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, is, is she like related hyphenated? to Earthos Creations on Patreon? On Discord and Patreon? Yes. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's a wild hyphenated last name. Damn. <laughs> or is that a mill name too? Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, can I buy this ring? I like this one. The uh the people ring. The it's like Oh, yeah, that was, that was an old I can, one. I can see through my hand. That's fucking wild. Are uh, you using blue- it for anything weird? Blueberry, I will 10,000% go have these on you for that ring so you can chat with us. That sounds like you're 50% going have these. Is not that not what have these is? 10,000% 10, ten going have these would be like you paying for more than all of it, you know? You're right. I don't want to do that. I'll, yeah, 50% <laughs> have these. Isn't that Geometry is hard. Or maybe 100% halfsies. I don't know. Um, yeah. Halfsies? Really? Half? No, 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 no. It's okay. I'll. Okay. What if what if we're getting this people ring already? Can we get like a little discount? Like a one fifty percent off or something? I don't know about that, but maybe like 50 gold off. I'll take that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Is, is there anything else you want? Like, look at this thing. Um, and she, I'm just trying to show the last item. Uh, she brings out like this. Uh, it's like a large scepter that's got this like red bauble on the top. This is the return to scepter. What? I get it. 
and you can use a reaction to send a magical projectile back at the caster. Um, it requires a dexterity saving throw or spell casting saving throw to work, and the DC is the spell caster spell save DC. So if I someone don't know shoots, what that means. <laughs> yeah. So basically, if 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 if, if Xander here shot shot something at you, you could grab it with the scepter and fling it back at him as a reaction. As you a got reaction. really good reaction time. Okay. You, know? <laughs> you could react to it coming into you. Uh huh. That, that is what people do when they are presented with things. Um, cool. I got cool. too many staffs. <laughs> oh, that is true. I kind of already have mine too. Can I see them? You know, I, like, uh, I, could just... I give glances to everyone. <laughs> you you know, I could just like combine them all into one, right? What? Whoa. What do you mean? You just want one staff with all the, the fancy parts in them? I can do that. For how uh, much? We're friends, right? Yeah. Yeah, the best of friends. Okay. Um, how about as long as you buy two things or more today, I'll do it for free. And it'll take me about four minutes. Dawn, that sounds like a great deal. I'm with it. Uh, sure. Yeah. So yeah. You gotta buy two things. You got my two. We got uh, the rings. More. But two. <laughs> two pieces of dye. Just kidding. Um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I want this balloon too, but okay. Um Blue. If you what? promise the next time we're here to help me get my little friend up there and I'm pointing at the squirrel, you can have the balloon. It, you have to promise me. I am. I put my pinky out. This is an unbreakable promise. Cinnamon's for sale. Yeah. I mean. I mean. Nobody's ever offered for cinnamon, and like now I feel bad because cinnamon's kind of like cinnamon was a pet project, but now it's more of like a pet project. project? Yeah. That's why cinnamon's kind of expensive. So how much? A thousand gold. Okay. But it's a fire-breathing squirrel. Yeah. With a magic backpack. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Magic backpack. That yeah. <laughs> like the coolest of the cool. So blue. Yeah. You gotta help me next time. We cannot okay. leave here next time we visit without cinnamon. Okay. All right. I'm grabbing the gross looking balloon on the table. Okay. It's a normal looking balloon. Why are you making it <laughs> weird? <laughs> it's uninflated. It looks gross. I feel like all balloons are like that when they're uninflated. That's true. Well, unless you blow them up. But, uh, then it's inflate. What? Yeah. That's and the I, whole point of the throw it up. I throw it at Blueberry and I give her 500. Okay. Gold. Yeah, that was 500 gold. Um, so let's do the, the calculations after um, real fast. But uh, so, Blueberry, you're handing over your stabs. Yes. So she takes. Pulling them uh, out of the bag of holding. Yeah. My first so, staff, the Willow staff, and Desiderius staff. Cool. Thanks. Um. Cool. I just have this like machine here, and she just throws them in. Um, <laughs> and Can you like, choose what it looks like? I mean, it's kind of just gonna take aspects of all of them. Can you choose and, like, what it smells it... like? No. <laughs> hey, I'm just asking. Like, if that thing's got our scent, like, got its scent, the changes. No. What? What if you throw in? Like a piece of lavender, like that's kind of staff like for a tiny one like you. That's like a staff. What? It's yeah. not made of staff, it's made of lavender. Yeah, but it, it will take elements of the lavender, so it'll make it smell like lavender. <laughs> Do you just have lavender on you? Yeah, of course. I, and I'll reach uh, into the bag craft. of holding. And... <laughs> <laughs> Can I druidcraft lavender, a sprig of lavender? Uh, sure. <laughs> See, she look like, at look at she that. She like she looks at you like really quizzically, like ah. Uh, 
<laughs> and then she puts it in the machine. She immediately puts her goggles on and she kind of like <laughs> starts the machine and jumps or flies back really quickly. Um, and it makes a <laughs> um, and basically this is just a m- machine that you just kind of throw shit together. And it sounds like a washing machine because things spin around really fast. <laughs> um, I'm thinking and then I'm out- picturing it like the the paint spinners. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, kinda. yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then out of the other side, you see a staff appear. Um, it is wooden. Um, it's kind of got like knotted wood and at the top very much that willow tree look um, where it kind of had those branches coming out and like curving around a little bit. And then um, there are little lavender springs all over it. And then Desiderius staff comes out of the machine. <gasps> what? That's weird. I've never had this fail before. I mean, it combined the other two, but not this one. Oh. Uh, why? Uh-oh. All right. I don't know. Can you figure out what the deal is with this staff? It it wasn't ours. Can we leave oh. it with you? She um. She's like, yeah, give me a minute. Um, you could just, if, if, I mean, flash we'll a ring out. Just, just <laughs> flash a ring out. Um, and she like motions you to like grab your old staff blueberry while she, um, she gets like this little magnifying glass that goes on her eye and she starts looking at Tessidary's staff. Um, so as she's looking, uh, you grabbed the peephole ring, the balloon of protection for uh, Frederick, and just so I confirm the, with the listeners that is basically a balloon that Frederick can go in whenever he wants and it'll float in the air and keep him protected and then as a bonus action on Blueberry's turns uh, she can give him uh, she can use the floating Frederick on the battlefield to uh, give the help action <laughs> yeah very cool and it's not a con so awesome Incredible. and then you also and again that was megan on discord and patreon uh who created the balloon of protection and then the ring of the parrot and the peephole ring so total that comes out to 1750 gold um and she's gonna end up because you got three items take 50 gold off of each one so it's 1600 total you can decide how to split it up oh all right i'll give you 500 for the for that one i for gave that. I gave five hundred for mine. So four fifty for a balloon of protection, not five hundred. Yep. So I'll just take fifty back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um the ring, 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 ring. Seven hundred for ring parrot, actually six fifty. I'm going to pay five hundred. Oh, I said I would split it. I know, but that seems silly. Okay, well, just let me know what you want. So you pay 150. All right, easy enough. While while they're all over there yeah. grabbing their new things and like playing with the staves and the bag and the balloon, I'm gonna walk up to Fable and slide her a hundred gold. If we come back, do everything in your power to make sure that squirrel isn't here too. Damn. <laughs> what? Do you say this aloud? <laughs> to her, yeah. <laughs> I'll message okay. it to her. Okay. If you message it to her and just drop the 100 gold. Mm-hmm. Non-functioning, gone entirely, destroyed. I'll leave that up to you. Wink. And she <laughs> says a wink aloud. <laughs> Actually, she says wink in your mind. Because <laughs> cause you can see her, but she's got like those goggles on, so you can't actually mm-hmm. see her eyes. So she goes, wink. <laughs> um, so you guys start uh, uh, getting your stuff ready as, um, as Fable finishes looking at the staff. And as you kind of get your stuff, you're ready to go. She comes over, flying with it quickly, and she throws it at you, Blueberry. Out now! Out! Get this out of my shop! Is it cursed? Yes! Get it out! Get it out! Ah! Get it out! Get it out! I'll stuff it into the bag of holding. It's in another dimension now! Okay. I don't care. Out of the shop, please. 
You what, can come back. Just don't bring that. Just don't bring that. I don't, I don't, what, I don't what know is what it? Is. I don't. I don't know. It is you don't terrifying. Know? I've what never seen see? it. I've never seen something like that gem before. What did it do? I don't know. What does it mean? What should we do with it? Destroy it. Get rid of it. I don't know. If it's magical, it's going to be so hard to destroy, right? Yes. Volcano would be probably best. Volcano? Do we just need I to don't... destroy the gem? I don't know if that's possible. To oh. be honest. But okay. I need it out. Okay. Thank you. I leave. <clears throat> I'll I'll follow. Thank you, Fable. Have thank, a great thank day. Thank you. Good luck. Okay. Uh, Jet, are you following as well? <sighs> um, before I do, walking back, I'm gonna. I see the uh, unbreakable chains on there, on the table. And I'll snag them real quick and just drop uh, as much gold as she needs for it and walk out. As you do so, she grabs your finger. Of your right hand. Oh. What is this? <laughs> um, oh, yes, that's right. I'll undo the entire the entire bit of armor on my arm so that she can see everything she starts poking your forearm like really hard for how small she is does this hurt does it hurt um does it hurt? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Uh, it's a little rough for someone this your size and stature but and she like not pushes too your much. arm up and you can see that she like sees it all the way and she like uh -huh. Kind of uncomfortably gets too close to you and starts tickling your armpit where it is. Does this tickle? Can you feel this? Uh, um, yeah, a little bit. Yes. <laughs> Why are you so sweaty? Oh, and she like wipes it off on your her hand off on your armor. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Um, hmm. I, I felt a little warm as well. Hmm. And she's like looking at it. It's like aggressive frostbite. But you can feel your hands. And what is this black? It, it's, I don't know. It's like deep in my fingertips. Well, that's weird. Do you know anything about it? Have you seen anything like this? Uh, uh, what do I do? Does it hurt? At all? Anywhere? No, I mean, at first, this has been gradual. It, it was stiff in my shoulder. I kept feeling off in there. I could still move it and everything, but All right. when the well, day started, it, this happened. If you start turning to stone, come find me, and we might be able to do anything. But it, it's stone. Now, I think it's fine. What do you mean, stone? I don't know. There are, there are evil things out there that can turn you to stone. You've ever heard of a basilisk? No. Oh, yeah, those are scary. Am I, am I one? A basilisk? No, no, you're not a lizard. Especially oh, not oh. an eight-legged one. Eight, okay. I, I think one, two. Yeah, I only have two right now, from what I know. Um, Nigel's brain. <laughs> eight-legged lizard? What the fuck is a D&D &D basilisk? <laughs> Different. Because um, I mean, like the Harry Potter one's a snake. They're the sick. Real world one is like a weird chicken snake. <laughs> oh, that thing's horrifying. Mm hmm. I love it. And you have seen them before. Yeah. Thick boy. They're the ones the underdog, down in uh, Ocklock, right? right? Mm hmm. Yeah. And but no, to, I don't, to, uh, you're definitely not a basilic, and I don't think you're turning to stone. You're cold, so stones are kind of cold, but I, I don't think that's how that works. Uh, you can okay. still move everything, so I think you should be okay. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely not a curse. It's not a curse, so what, no. what else could it be? Disease, maybe? Did you eat anything you shouldn't have? 
touch anything you shouldn't have? Uh, I mean, I've eaten some weird things in my time, but I, I couldn't tell you for sure. Do you keep going to that insomnia falafel place? I keep telling everyone that it's just disgusting it's, uh, there. Listen, it's great. We had a great yeah, meal I did, there. It's delicious, okay? but it will it will give you diarrhea. That, diarrhea, that okay. Good. I'll take diarrhea over my arm. I don't think that's where you want diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I slam oh the money on the table <laughs> and start uh, walking out. Wait, you need to know the password. It's something something about food, isn't it? Pork rinds. Ah, thank you. And you can hear they and they lock as you're walking away. Uh, pork rinds. And they unlock as you say <laughs> pork rinds under your breath. Um, I'm going to, as I'm outside, I'm going to <clears throat> shove the bag of holding into um, Jet's hand and, and run back inside and, and give her 25 gold to get a, a die. Blueberry took <laughs> the bag from me and then shoved it into <laughs> Jet's hand. What? I thought I had it. <laughs> no, I was holding it. Oh, I thought she but had I, it too. <laughs> you, you put your yeah. stuff in it, but I was the one carrying it. I oh, thought. Okay. <laughs> We were just sharing. I don't know. Everyone I think, can. Yeah. I think we got confused because Blueberry was an owl that took it out, and then I think we didn't confirm oh, true, who was true. carrying it after that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it it don't really matter right now. You can tell me now. Maybe Xander's holding it now because Blueberry threw it to him, so she could go buy a die, which she does. <laughs> uh, these are a one-time use, just so you know, Blueberry. Um, All right, how's cool. everybody feeling? Ready to walk. Yeah. Ready to go. All right. You guys kind of close that back up. You kind of push the bushes back over to hide um, this flower um, and head to Fairmore. And you have made this. <coughs> Hold on one second. Hold on a second. So you have made this route before, and it is in no way exciting. Um, you follow the past uh, just out of the cemetery towards the north, and then you follow west. Um, it's covered in forest and trees. It takes no time at all. You are out in the heat, sun out in the sky, and no clouds. Um, the backs of your necks start to burn as the sun burns those like hot rays down. Um, and walking for some time, you hit the main road, and then going to Faramore, you just take a south, uh, southward direction. It's just a few miles further, um, and you finally head and make your way towards Faramore. Um, from this way, you know that Matthias is not too far off the main road. You don't even have to go through the main section of Faramore, um, and you come up to the long path leading upwards um, towards Matthias's, and the gates are currently open. That's a good sign. I hope. And there is a man with a clipboard standing at the gate. At least you think it's a man. It is oh. a large humanoid turtle standing on two legs. He has pretty thick glasses on and is wearing a magistrate bandana around his ankle and nothing else. No. Well. And a shell. But like... Uh, guy, okay, hold up. Dip behind this tree Wait, super quick. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we're not going up to them. Wait, okay. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold up, hold up. First off, turtle man. Whoa. Second off, magistrate. Yeah, uh. sees ankle. What the fuck, man? They're, so they're um, here. So in Desider or uh, uh, Chandra's journal, there was like wanted drawings of us. Yeah. We look, I feel we like look we different. Makeovers again. We, we, we already look different, different from, the... from that. Kinda. No, they like know we us from... really. We changed our looks since we got since we went there. Mostly yeah, we were... just clothes. Have we seen no, any because, magistrate be... since then? Blueberry, your your hair was blonde in the picture. Yeah, I'm the only one who changed my hair. I I changed changed my hair. Magistrate, since since we've changed, only Chandra. I think uh, it, it it might be a good idea if we change again. If we've seen any magistrate, well, they could have reported back. The problem is he's got that clipboard and he's probably checking names, like at the club, and we can't 
give him our names, and we can't give new names. So what do we do? We well, can't we give had... fake names or he's not going to let us in, and we can't give our names because that'll take us away. Well, we had fake names when we enrolled, right? I think... Oh, true. I don't know if we did. Sky yeah, we did. Johnson. And I was, uh, Alec. Alex? No, I was Shell. Shell. I don't remember what my name was. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> uh, I think Jets was like Stealth Bomber or something. <laughs> and. <laughs> 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 what was my name? <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. I don't remember to be honest. But uh, you're you're absolutely right, Blueberry. We did have uh code names so that we weren't like super obvious when we were there. To be clear, I'm not wearing my yellow dress right now. I'm wearing my like green traveling clothes. Looks a little more <laughs> rangery, I guess. I can I can just change my my jacket. But I don't remember my name. Uh, uh, if you if you change your jacket to like a big cloak that with a big hood. We could pass you off as our father, or just an old man we're helping bring to the <laughs> to the school. I, mean, I, I, I have don't know, makeup. man. I'm I could give you here. some old age. Makeup. Let's, let's make you old. You I can you can shake good, right? I mean, I kind of forgot I could just go invisible, so like that that also works. There's that too. But so, that cost yeah. that'll tire you out some. What if we need that later? Can we just maybe we can just find a place to like break in? Like, he's like, hop the fence. I mean, let's just maybe even just walk by and talk to this man. Not even act like we're trying to go in. See what he's doing. Turtle guy. Right, what if we're shell recognized? Man, what if he asks us our names? We got to know what we're going to say. I'll, I could stay back. Uh, he's got a clipboard. That's People with clipboards go. ask you what your name is. What they <gasps> well, do. Yeah. It was Wolfgang. It was Wolfgang. I was Wolfgang something. <laughs> okay, that's fine. well, you need a last name. Nah, let's just give him Wolfgang. A, yeah, that's fine. Okay. We, it was well, Wolfgang first name von, only. von Shakespeare. Von Shakespeare! <laughs> yes! Okay! Oh, God! My brain hurts! Oh. Jet, when you think so, when you Shell remember bomber? so hard. <laughs> what, what was mine? Bomber? It wasn't sure. even, it just sounded like a secret agent name, not like a. I do remember using his code pseudonym. name Stealth Bomber. Yeah. Wait, that was, was that my code name. Was else? that my actual name? I don't remember. No, I think that was for your name because, like, they don't know what a stealth bomber Wait, is. So oh, yeah. It was like a weird No, wasn't name. my name just Jet but with one T? It was Jet with oh, one yes. T! <laughs> You're right. Because <laughs> uh, yeah. I was like, it had stealth to be a variant bomber. of Jet, and that's why we went with stealth bomber because it's kind of like a, a Jet. But no, it was Jet with one T. Yeah. I think stealth bomber was when we were in the prison yeah. and we were trying to impersonate yeah. like an officer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at my name on Discord. I'm like, wait, one T. Yeah, no. Okay, <laughs> okay. Okay. We got our names. We got our names. We're Let's good. Just walk yeah, right we're up. good. We're good now. We yeah, got yeah, this. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. We we look <laughs> we look different. We're I think we're set. We're okay. Oh, just yeah. just you just put put on a new jacket, <laughs> old man. And it's I'll a, swap out my cloak of billowing for the other cloak. It's a tan duster. I it's don't a know. duster. Okay. It's long. Like the ranger jacket from um, Fallout New Vegas? Yeah. Boom. Uh-huh. Haven't played it. So you guys walk what? up to... <laughs> you're this. out of the... You're out of here. Get you off of the <laughs> yeah, cast that, party. That is actually illegal. Um, I've played a little bit of it. Okay, good. You need to but go not, It's the guy yeah. on the cover. The jacket that the guy is wearing. So we walk up. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you walk up to uh, this turtle man. Uh, and as you walk up, hi there, folks looking to enroll in the university. Uh, the students are ready. Oh, welcome. Were you students before? Yeah, long yeah, time. We, we were taking a bit of a hiatus. Some oh, time to okay. find ourselves. 
yeah, yes, that's fine, that's fine. Um, so, uh, you, yeah, I don't know if you know, some of the things have changed at the university. Um, so you will need to just go see the recruitment officer so you can get your, uh, your new schedules. Uh-huh. All right? Yes. Okay. Okay. What are your names? <laughs> Uh, S- 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 Sky Johnson. Sky Johnson. Found ya. Uh, Shell? Shell? Oh, you're like me. My name's Sheldon. You got it, buddy. <laughs> uh- <laughs> and yes, Vince, that was the pun I added last minute. Uh- <laughs> I said his name earlier. <laughs> um. And, and the rest of you, oh, Jet and Wolfgang won't chase me. I found you. Because okay, we didn't need to do that role play. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how did he go? <laughs> oh, so I don't know if you've heard about the new classes. We have some new classes on mathematics, uh, science, uh, understanding magic, uh, gardening, cooking. Uh, and we're implementing some more trades in the near future, like blacksmithing and leatherworking. Um, but you'll probably have to wait until at least the winter for those, as the construction just began on those projects. Uh, but Matthias is, uh, never told us about any of these. Uh, is is he around? Oh, Can we talk to him about new. it? Very new. Is, is Matthias around so we can talk to him about it? No, oh, he'll be in his office, prob- probably. I'd assume he's in his office. Oh, good, good. Okay, okay, we'll make our way there. Oh, yes, just be, you know, make sure to knock. Him and uh, Fulton have been spending a lot of time in there together. Fulton, <laughs> right, yeah. Sebastian, um, big gulp. Oh, yep. okay, Fulton, I'm so sorry. I know Fulton. His name's Commodore Fulton. He is a member of the magistrate. He's been helping uh, change the university quite a bit. Oh, uh-huh. how, how long has he been here for? Oh, I don't know. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days. Because Colin doesn't know, so he's just going to say that. And it was the day that you guys <laughs> left the last time. The day? Oh, so that was about when we left. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, okay. it wasn't. Um, we were, we've been gone for, like, weeks, oh, bro. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. You know, it's been so long. I I, I need a rest. Okay, I've been walking great. all day. I, I, I'm actually trying to recruit here. So if you would like to just go, make sure to be wearing your colors. You're not wearing your colors. Uh, Have the yeah, colors okay. changed? What are the colors no. now these days? No. It's still green and white, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure green. it's green robes with like a white cord. Okay. So well, if you'd like, well, we could just uh, we could go, go, go <clears throat> to the main atrium and uh, either speak with Matthias or, or someone there will uh, guide you to the recruitment officer. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Sheldon. Great. Happy we- learning. <laughs> we pass him. Have we met Commodore Fulton? On the ship. We've heard of him. Mm-hmm. No, he walked up to us yeah. in the ship. What the did very we look like we on, on the ship? ship? Oh. It was like beginning of the, the thing on uh, uh, oh. episode seven. Jatoba's yep. ship. ship. Sorry. Thank yeah. you. I did not think this his name. Cause like I got all up in that guy's face for, uh, yep. and then Fulton like broke up the whole thing. But he didn't know us th- as enemies, right? No, we, we were, were just, just people on a ship. Just people on a, on ship. a ship. And it's not like he didn't I, learn I, our names or anything. No, I th- I think we're good. I think we're good. Let let we gotta we gotta go to Matthias. What the hell's going on around here? And Matthias will be there in the office. He'll he'll vouch for us. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll, I'll jump off of Pebbles' back and just tell her, hang hang out outside here. Just keep keep a lookout, okay? Let me know if you see anything suspicious. Burp. That was cute. <laughs> okay, we go. All right, you start heading up that winding path. You kind of take around that large watchtower um, and come up uh, to the university. There are some students outside. Uh, again, some frisbees being thrown, some people laying out on the grass, eating food. Um, you can hear, you can smell that someone just got uh, insomnia falafel takeout and like brought a bunch back for this like group of people having a picnic. Oh, it smells real good. It smells nice and greasy. Um, 
and then uh, you can see that there are um, the doors to the main atrium are open. Um, there are some guards here in uh, magistrate armor. We don't recognize any Just of them. Keep... Nope. Just head... keep walking like nothing's wrong. Yeah. Head down like we're yeah, going we to class. Yep, looking away <clears throat> from them so they don't see our faces. You just walk right into the atrium. Um, you can see that there is a little bit of change in the atrium. There is like a front desk now, which there really didn't used to be. Um, and there is someone here. They're currently talking with a, another student, it looks like. Um, but you also know that Matthias's office is just right around the corner. Just head right towards that. Yeah, just dip on in. Okay, you head right to Matthias's um, and knock. Knock. Right yeah. You knock uh, a few times, um, and Matthias comes to the door. Students, good to see you again. I hope your vacation went well. How was Hyannis? It was great. It was great. Yeah, really no, we, uh, hot. Sunny like, we as not always. Used to that kind of heat, you know. The, oh, the really? hiatus and Hyannis was great. So. Yeah, we oh. love a good hiatus. Hyannis hiatus. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Please come in. Come in. Um, Wonderful. Did you get to spend time in the water at all? A little bit. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah, we we did some more like parasailing kind of stuff. Like we got it. Oh, you know, fancy. Yeah. That's uh, quite expensive. <laughs> Normally, university students can't afford that. I don't know. I don't know where you're getting your money. Yeah. Uh, as he brings you in, um, and you can see that there is a big man, black plate armor, um, standing in the corner. If you remember, he has like this beautiful black plate on that looks like ocean waves um kind of curving around his chest um and he's standing tall as you kind of enter um and um uh, matthias goes well i hope none of you got sunburnt uh not a fun thing to deal with this time of all of year no, so uh we're pretty safe yeah a little bit on our necks on the walk back, but that's about it. Okay, yeah, great, great. Um, so I gather you have seen some of the differences at the university while you we were gone. Well, Commodore Fulton here, um, Commodore Fulton gives like a little nod, has assisted us with moving this university <clears throat> away from magic and towards a more proper and prosperous university, just like we had been discussing before you had left. Oh, that's so exciting. Yes. Oh, nice to meet you, Commodore. Thank you. We're so excited for our new classes. Commodore Fulton comes closer a little bit. Um, Commodore Fulton. Though I think you know that. He points to Xander. You look familiar. You I all just got do. one of those faces. We all but got just one of those faces. Have I, I ever you... arrested you before? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I've, you know, I haven't been arrested in at least like 15 years. So like we good. Where do I know you from? You? <laughs> I, I was a kid, all right? I wasn't, it wasn't like adult arrested. It was like thrown in the back of the cop car, you know? Um, You know, actually, you look kind of familiar to, do you, do you ever drink? You ever hit the bar? Not often. Normally on the seas. Mm, I got you, I got you. I mean, there. I, I was at a bar not too long ago, and there was a dude that looked a lot like you. And let me tell you, he was he was an expert drinker. Like he he could hold his own against anyone. Let me tell you. Hmm. So I don't know. You look a lot like him. I wouldn't be surprised he, if it was like brother, cousin, you. I don't know. Could be you. He kind of glares at you for a second, and he takes out an ornate black box that he puts. Oh on the table in Matthias's office. Please, oh, no. sit down and discuss. He opens the box, and you can see a familiar clear orb. He simply places his hand atop it as it becomes filled with black smoke, and then these smaller white orbs fill, almost like stars. And you can see that they don't immediately form an arrow in any direction, though there is a general trend of these orbs towards you. And Fulton looks at you all with a raised eyebrow. 
Students, we should sit. Uh, let's talk about your vacation and uh, your new classes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. Excited for leatherworking. I'm hyped for oh, the blacksmith that's class. Not... <laughs> that, that'll be a little bit. But we have new classes right now. Well, I'll tell you. So the, uh, the changes here are magnificent, are they not? Um, I, for one, am so pleased with the help the magistrate has brought. <laughs> What was, what was that? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Yeah, what I heard it? something. That's my radiator, and the cover just fell off of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's terrifying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, that took me out of the element. Uh... I, for one, am so pleased with the help the Magistrate has brought us in ridding us of the villain who was employed here that was teaching our students the negative ways of magic behind our backs. Who could that have been? Oh. I can't believe someone would do that uh, to us. I, I am, and you can see Commodore Fulton's like staring down Matthias. I am not allowed to say there are ongoing investigations as to if this individual had help or had swayed any of the students into the dark arts of magic. Oh, no. Uh, mm, I've been there. But oh. we don't have to worry about that, as you are model students, and I told Commodore Fulton before you even got here that you were going to be my prime helpers in create changing this facility into a non-magic facility. Cool. Awesome. Oh, Great. Good, good, yes. Well, that's... Well, it's so great you are back. I'm so glad you had a good time in Hyannis. We do need to get your new curriculum all set up. Um, would you please go visit with our recruitment manager just down the hall, and they will get you all set up with your new classes. Absolutely. <gasps> you guys it, are... Go ahead. Is, is there any classes that we should be looking for specifically? Is there any that Kingsley recommended that we should the... join? Oh. <sighs> well, uh... And Commodore Fulton Vince. starts walking around the table, stands directly behind you, Jet, puts a hand on your shoulder. Hmm. We have not found this Kingsley person. Student here? No, he's just a longtime friend of ours. He was thinking about joining. We, you know, we'd been students for a little while. He, he thought maybe he would join too. Uh, with all the good that we have been talking about here. Deception check. Mm -hmm. With advantage, you said, right? No. 15? Mm -hmm. I see. I look forward to meeting this Kingsley. He stops holding your shoulder and continues walking on. Oh, we have you want to hear about the new classes. Uh, I, I know one that you will just all love. You have to take it. It is called the Magic of Woodworking and Carpentry. I <laughs> highly recommend. The professor is actually here today. You could even visit him in his office after picking out your classes. I am sure he would love to speak with any prospective students. Uh-huh. Sure thing, yeah. You okay. know, Jesus was a carpenter, so we all got to walk the, the righteous path. <laughs> was was he also a student? Potential student? I don't know who this is. Probably not a student here. It, what, he was... No, he was a carpenter. I just I just said that. He was he, from down the road. Right. Oh, oh. I'm just, I'm, but he was like a really like chill dude. Like, I, he was like... He was kind of special. He didn't know... Who, he didn't uh, he didn't know his dad he like kind of knew his dad but he like, <laughs> didn't know his dad and so like he he led a life of like sal salvation i don't know not I, important uh you you have been getting into those books again have you not that is so great um why don't you go see the recruitment officer okay thanks bye yeah, yeah wait, 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 wait students uh i forgot to ask when you were in hyannis um you were able to stop by my dock, right? You remembered, uh -huh. right? I asked you to check up on my small boat that was there. It's a banana-like boat 
it almost looks like a banana. You grow it. It was taken. I wanted to see if it was returned, but it was taken. I was hoping you could find my boat by chance. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You did. Didn't even you know see what? I did boat. see it. It was in. It was. Uh, it, it wasn't in the dock. It was in the marina. That's why we were having a, a tough time finding it. I, yes, just remember my boat has been taken. My small banana boat. Um, I messaged so, Blueberry. So I do want to find it. Canoe! Canoe! Canoe, 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 canoe! Sebastian, with your passive perception, as well as Blueberry with your passive perception, you can see that the orbs in the center of the table are starting to make more of a line towards you. Let's oh, go, I, uh, oh, I got it. to the... Yeah, okay, yeah, thanks. Uh, we oh, we might have to take another look for your banana boat. Bye! Bye! Uh... Great to see you, Matthias. Have Bye. a great day. Nice to meet you, Commodore. I'll catch you at the bar sometime. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's called disarming strike as I walk out. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> he just can't respond. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, you guys head out of... Um head out of the office you can see that there is even a little sign that says recruitment office this way let's keep walking let's keep walking let's keep going mm -hmm. uh, walking Blueberry, walking just not talking walking moving straight there um and uh you give uh you actually see that the door is uh currently open um and i totally forgot to switch this i'm sorry i'm a bad person and you see, oh, Finn be such a sick office. is in here. <gasps> oh, uh, newbies, newbies! What's what's up? You're 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 here to get new uh new classes. Yeah, that's right. Good yeah. to see you again, oh, bud. Hey, yeah, yeah. You you like those owl bears? Yeah, man. They were that was tasty. I think. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're. they're I don't need one. them here anymore. Uh, but they are good. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I'll, I'll save them for a special occasion. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. So we gotta just get your classes down. Um. So that's so cool that you want to take woodworking. That's such a great idea. And he like already writes woodworking <laughs> down mm -hmm. for all of you. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just throw in. Uh. You guys got anything else you really want to take or um? Do you have like I, nature? I know everyone's all excited about woodworking. Do you have nature classes or we got an or herbalism sort gardening of... class? Garden? Yeah, Garden? We and got like gardening. we got we got uh, cooking now too. New, maybe new like class, ecology cooking. of Fendrea, something like that. Environment. You mean you mean plant class? I mean, if that's the closest you have, I don't know if you have like a. That's you know. I already wrote down gardening. What about like zoology? You got anything about zoology of? Or like animal class, animal class. That's what it's called. Animal, animal class. class? <laughs> There's farm class. Close enough. Okay. Farm yeah. class. Um, just sign us all up for all of these. Like we just we're not. Oh, that's probably dangerous. Do you want? Do you want to go into like everything? You want to go into ladder making too? I don't know how many ladder. credits can we take in one semester. Like ladder making you know, is different than woodworking, just so you know. Like it's a different thing. They would probably help each other out though. Like once you start understanding the concepts of one, it would help the other. Oh yeah, probably. I mean, yeah. All right, well, so let's sign up for, for ladder, ladder, ladder making ladder. too. I, okay, ladder I making. Like, I feel like that's like a that's a good that's a good way to fill out our schedule, right, guys? Yeah. Um, you are gonna want some sort of PE in there though. Um, true. Some physical true. education. Um, so yeah, maybe y'all got uh, yoga. You got yoga. Do you have like Pilates? a medicine? Oh, class? you mean like it's called health? Sure. It's like health and anatomy kind of mixed well, together. Well, it's about like how you can get diseases and then fixing those diseases and, and like fixing okay. broken. Yeah, it's like well, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. But like you got to understand where the the, uh -huh. the the thorax is on the humans so, and everything. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes uh, humans can have thoraxes. Um, 
it's pretty it's, it's actually most humans um i think uh and he like writes you down for <laughs> health and anatomy um and he fills out your other classes and anatomy health and anatomy yeah together oh. in one. Yeah, no yeah. elf um, and anatomy what so you want to take horseback riding too okay great uh <laughs> um just gives you slips you should probably uh go meet with the uh the woodworking professor okay. soon, I'd yeah he's say. in his office right yeah yeah um cool so okay. you know where that office is yeah upstairs yeah, upstairs corner uh it's the his office is in the woodworking classroom so yeah just go up there that's the woodworking class on the left uh you, okay you go meet him okay cool let's do that have fun. Uh, um, yeah, that's not going to be bad at all, I promise. On on the walk up, I'm going to... Uh, I, um, Nigel, can I borrow your sending stone real quick? Nigel? Sorry, Zedder! <laughs> Zedder can, Shell. Can, it's can, Shell. <laughs> Shell, can um, Jet with one T borrow your sending stone real quick? Yeah, <laughs> his hyphenated name. Yeah, uh, yeah of course. Um just a special rock. I, I hold it for good luck. Wink. Uh-huh. Pass it to Jet. With and one tea. I'm going to sending to Sebastian and Jet. Jet, what the fuck? Why would you bring up Kingsley, a wanted man that we broke out of prison in front of a Commodore of the Magistrate? Um, wasn't thinking of that. He had worried. a secret name here for one. Even that I don't think would have oh, been safe to did. bring up. We did, didn't we? I tossed Sander my sending stone. I feel like I shouldn't be part of this conversation. I'm... Have at it. What I makes know. You, you often makes you say think things you shouldn't also, so it's also worth hearing. Ha, don't have my sending stone anymore, Blueberry. I whispered that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I got too heated in the moment, and my tiny little brain did not remember that, and I apologize. I am worried for my friend. Yeah. Send text. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know. Just, I just want to make sure you know to never do that again. <laughs> Okay, I will send text. Okay. I'm going to give my sending stone now to uh, Sebastian so that everyone except for me has one. Okay. Got <laughs> it was just this guy. roundabout passing of sending stones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone's got a different phone now. Um, guys, I think... Sticky? <laughs> Guys, I think Blueberry's upset with me. Period. Send text. <laughs> period. Yeah, I'm. I, I don't blame her. Tbh, that was kind of that was a real I, risky move there, bud. But just don't do it again. We gotta, we gotta lay low. I thought I was the one who gave away all the information. God damn. If I never goof like I, that. I know, I messed up big time. Sad face. Send text. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Let's let's go get this teacher, and we'll we'll go from there. I I throw the sending stone to Blueberry. I, I mean, okay. Hey, you guys I, know that I don't he was know talking how to about, use these well. You guys know that he was it's still in the sending sending stone. You guys know he was talking about Canula Cola Kana Karakip Giant Man guard oh I yeah i tried to send gathered. that to blueberry in her head but then the yeah. the thing started pointing at me and i realized i was being dumb yeah so we gotta find uh canoe la cola kai canam canoe canoe cola canoe cola kana kono kia you guys are doing pretty good kia canoe cola kia coca cola kia Canoe Coca Cola Kia. Kia. Canoe Coca Cola Kia. There yeah. it is. Kana Kono Loco Wai? No, that's the Kana fish. Kanu Kolo Kolakai. Beautiful. All right. Hey, there we go. 
<gasps> Final Call of Kai. <laughs> Sebastian gets inspiration for that because he remembered. <laughs> um, Wait. So he wants Sebastian, us to go find him. Yeah, I don't know what. Yeah, we got- I don't know what happened to him. We weren't supposed to find him before, were we? No, we're supposed to find him now. Okay. Yeah, that's what he okay. was saying. Because like, okay. he, he got snatched. Like, Wait, mm-hmm. didn't they send him? They sent, they sent Kanu out on a mission too, right? He was. Yeah. Or was he just back guarding when we left? Oh, no, okay. He, he came back he, he when was, we left. Yeah, he was gone for a little bit, and then he came back. Got it. Okay, he's that's probably what I'm thinking of. got. He's probably got Kingsley. Oh no. Like oh. he's the one oh. that's like that took oh, him away. Like, that's why we got to find him. That makes him. sense. Okay, okay. Are, we'll I'm go into whisper, Faramore sometime. Oh, maybe, maybe he took him to the to lighthouse. Because oh. Kanu was looking over the lighthouse. Maybe he took him back there for safekeeping. Good call, good call. Down at the dock. He was mentioning the docks. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm going to whisper go meet this teacher. to Jet. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Back. Sorry. I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> Are we all still just standing around Finn? I feel like just we're like, kind of walking down, down the hallway. Yeah, <laughs> just like walking, walking down, the down the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. You had to go up a set of stairs. Mm-hmm. Um, you're able to kind of do this, and then you do make it to a corner classroom that um, you can see there, there's like a makeshift sign kind of thrown up right now, and it is carved out of wood. Um, and it says, the magic of woodworking and carpentry. 